Hi uh, everyone, hope you're all ticking the boo. Today is another episode of the Refuel event. But this time we're going to do something a bit different. We're actually going to feature some of the cars there and give little interviews of them. So make sure you stay to the end. But on the way up, I met this little baby over here. See you in a sec. Play it back like a million times because I know that you're the absolute, the original. Before we make a move, it's not often you get to see RX-7s with Fiat 500s, a bit like this. So the feature this week is on Gertie. We're going to follow the V-Dub out to the refuel, so we better get our asses in gear. See you in a sec. It's what I like Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts, so then we take a ride Wherever I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high High Always If you look at the trouble Here we are at the third event. It's all going on over there. We're going to have a look in a sec. But today, we got some special things for you. Stay to the end of the video and you'll get that insight on Gertie. You get some really good stuff about that one. It's an awesome bug. And Lee, he, he's a lovely guy, so you'll get to meet him. Also, we'll have some go-kart racing going on, so maybe we'll get the drone up and see that. And there's some very special Bentleys here, and you won't want to miss them. See you in a sec. Here's what I like Jumping from a roof that is almost too high Laying on the grass, I close my eyes Playing my guitar to my fingers and numb So while I change over to this old Weeble S, because um, it's just arrived and I've got to test it out, yeah, let's look at some more footage yeah, of the event. Hopefully you've enjoyed the last bit. But we found this really, really special Range Rover and somebody with a new horn turned up. See you in a sec.
cool, isn't it? Anyway, in a minute, we're going to get out to that feature of Gertie, the little bug, with Lee driving that, and we're going to a little bit of an interview of that and have a look around the old uh, vehicle itself. So we'll see you in a sec, but first of all, I want to get the old uh, Canon, yeah, EOSR onto this Weeble S so we can test it because we're going to do another video on that later on um, and get out there. So let's look at some of the cars here that are the special cars, you know, the real feature ones. And then we'll be back in a sec to go and have a look at Gertie. See you soon. Turn up the heat. I'm going to make my move. Going to make my move. Get out the way. Get out the way. I'm coming through. Gonna do my thing, do what I do I'm making waves, I'm blazing trails, I'm coming through I'm burning up, turn on the light I'm gonna glow and let it shine I'm gonna go and light it up right Turn up the heat Right, Lee's going to give us a tour around Gertie in a minute. So, first of all though, I want to tell you something. I always thought there was something under the hood. But it's not under the hood, it's under the... Rear lid. Ah, yeah, because the engine's in the back. So, better place for us to start is that, isn't it? Should yeah. we go and have a look? Let's go and yeah. look. Come on in. Right, Lee, this looks a bit different to me in the back end of this, especially when it's compared to my Discovery 4. Yeah. So, tell me, tell us a bit about the engine. Um, it's a standard 1300 crankcase. Uh, it's got 1641 barrels and pistons on it. Uh, Does that mean it's bigger? Yeah, slightly yeah. bigger than the 1300. <laughs> um, it just enables it. It's got more torque, just gives it a, it's a bit more drivability along dual carriageways and that, really. Uh, it's got twin port engines running twin Webers. Nah, that's why you pulled away from me on the old dual carriageway, wasn't it? Well, <laughs> yeah, slowly, but yeah, it did pull away. Uh, that's pretty much it, really. Other than that, it's all standard. Yeah, it looks pretty tidy, though. Nice and clean. Yeah, I just... Wanted to keep it sort of just simple, clean, tidy, um, nothing too sort of no, no chrome bits, no bling, just keep it nice and simple. Yeah, sweet. Right, a bit windy out there, and thanks for showing us the engine around and things like that. Um, now, it says on your Instagram, low and slow. Yeah, tell us about does. that. I can tell from the suspension on this that it's pretty low, but it, it is pretty low. Yeah, it's slow, but it gets me, it gets me there. Um, the back air, the regard suspension on the back, um, she's been lowered on um, two inch raised uh, rear spring plates, um, dropped one spline, um, but other and stat she's static, so she's no movement at all like that. Cool. Um, the front, I've had to put air on the front because with Devon roads and so on and so forth. Getting over those speed, and get, speed bumps and yeah, things and like that. Yeah, getting over speed bumps and things like that. Getting on and off the drive, more importantly. <laughs> um, but generally, she's sort of, just sort of sat sat low anyway. The air's only there purely just to get me over stuff if I need to. Cool. Thanks a lot, mate. So that's a nice little insight into Lee's pride and joy, little Gertie. Hopefully, you've enjoyed that this time. We're going to do more like this. We're going to get back to refuel in a minute. But before we do that, let's have a look at what the inside of little Gertie looks like. But we better get out because there ain't much room in here for me and him. See you in a sec. Jeez, that's low. <laughs>
right so there we have it another successful refuel event hopefully you like the bit in there around uh, little old gertie with lee driver that are on the way in there and if you lot are interested in having a feature like that at the next refuel event why don't you get in touch because we'd be interested in doing that no matter what car you got get in touch with us and we'll see if we can do something similar anyway that's it for today hopefully you've liked this one don't forget hit that subscribe button give us a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one cheers and gone